Good oh. morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, right, I've just been sick. <laughs> we both haven't stopped gagging, right, from our last night's tea. And if you haven't seen that, go back to yesterday's vlog and watch it. Yeah, we had snails. It was beautiful. <sighs> yeah, we just literally, we just watched it back for the first time. We've edited it, watched it back, and I was sick just watching it. My tummy's <clears> still turning. And I don't know, you know, if you just don't like something, you just don't like it, do you? No. So. <laughs> so we're trying to put it out of his mind today. Yeah, but positive note, we're staying one more day. <laughs> one more day, yeah. I've booked us in on a campsite for three nights after Yay! today. Um, which looks like quite a nice campsite, not much there, but the actual campsite itself looks lovely. Yeah, so, I think that'd be nice. Nice little yeah. treat, thanks babe. You're very welcome. <laughs> that was a nice surprise this morning. <laughs> so we're going back into town today. You're going to look for a bikini, aren't you? It's like, well, bikini swimming costume preferably, because the next campsite has actually got swimming poles. Two big ones, it's even got a slide going down. Wicked, but apparently it's going to be a scorcher and... On Wednesday, yeah. You know, I'm not a big swimmer or anything, but you know, I might like to just have a little dip and cool down. <laughs> I wanted to on the last campsite, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to have a look, see what I can find. Okay. <sighs> Let's <breath>. do this. <laughs> but we're not eating today. Well... Are you half tempted? I didn't eat all yesterday, did I? No, I've got... I... <laughs> put the toaster on in the end. I had a couple of three tight slices of toast. And, and I you just literally couldn't. didn't eat nothing, did no. you? I'll tell you what with me it is though. It's not so much the snails on the plate. It was the croutons, because I don't know what was in yeah. the croutons and I did eat the odd bit of them. To be fair, the whole dish actually gag. wasn't that nice, was it? No. I mean, I tried initially that forkful of... Um, paella. Paella. And then a bite of the chicken leg, thinking I'd be safe with that. No. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> let's crack on with a new day. Oh, by the way, England are on at two o'clock in the World Cup final. Yay! Let's... Got rid of you for the day then. That's one o'clock English time, two o'clock here. <laughs> Not sure how true this is, but this is your bikes, your city bikes here, look. Like old grandad bikes. We actually saw a van turning up yesterday repairing them, which were quite cool, maintenance yeah. man. But this is the machine where you get them from, and we're just reading here. We think it's 24 euros for a year. Two quid a day. Two, two euro a day, ten euro a month. That's cheap, isn't That's it? That's a lot cheaper than back the electric bikes back home. You imagine having a bike for 24 pounds a Oh, they're not electric. Year. They're not electric. Oh, aren't they? No. But, but they have got a bell. Oh, okay. But you haven't got that maintenance of it, have you? No. You know, if something goes wrong with it, you just bring them up, can't you? Or just dump it and then get a new one. <laughs> yeah, that seems incredibly cheap, that. I'm surprised they're not electric, though. Isn't it? Well, it's a very flat place, isn't it? They don't really need electric here. Mm, that's a weird answer. <laughs> what? Um, I don't know. Listening to someone on his ghetto blaster bike, look of it. What is he doing? I don't know. Well, now he's listening to the sea and he's got a sh Eating snails. snails. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is proving to be a little bit more difficult to buy clothes. To buy clothes in Spain is really hard, isn't it, babe? Unless if you go to like the big no, cities. No, if you're in the centre, the thing with this place is. It's it, big enough. The centre is about a mile that way, and it will have all the proper shops. It's too far for us to be walking. This part, which is near the seafront. They've got loads of stuff workers. here. Workers. Are they orange trees there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, orange trees right in front of us. Yeah, the noise is horrific, isn't it? Are they oranges? The shops around here are just, it's just pff, cafes and snails and stuff. Yeah, check this out. Little Orange trees on the street, that's unusual. Oh, so good. Yeah, another problem we're having anyway, Spain do not get up in the mornings. Do they? No. 
especially when you're in an air and you're right next to another van, that's one thing. They're all parked very close to each other. And we you feel like you've got early. to be quiet. Yeah, you feel like you can't even shuffle your feet. But the whole air was like that this morning, wasn't it? Every air. We're just our neighbour. Every air. Me. Nobody gets up before no. like half past eight in the morning. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and we can be up at six, seven and just be sat there waiting for everyone else to move so that we can actually make some noise. Yeah, turn the hoover around. <laughs> so continuing our ABS tour. What's ABS? Another bloody statue. <laughs> That's quite nice. Different. F a fish going in between the heads. Waves for arms. Boobies. Knees. And toes. Knees and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> I'll be honest, out of all the places we've been in Spain, this has been my least favourite. Yeah, after you've just said, haven't you, you've not enjoyed none of it here. I don't know why, you either get a feel for somewhere or you don't. It's not that we're looking for something specific, but it's, you don't get a feel for somewhere. It's like we've come in between. Uh, we're not in a 100% Benidorm type holiday destination, and we're not in a proper Spanishy town. It's like we're in between and I don't like it. Not too bad. I mean, and I don't mind like the holiday destinations. I, I want, mean, I want the holiday or the culture, one or the other. I don't want neither. Right, but we are only concentrating on the town though. Whereas down near us now, with all the beach and that, that's lovely down there. Yeah, you know, we, we will be checking that, that out. Well. we'll get down to the beach in a bit, shall we? Yeah. And then there's a car coming. Oh. But yeah, after yesterday's experience, it's just completely put me off. Sorry. You shouldn't let a snail on your plate put you off from the place, though. It wasn't the snail on my plate what put me off, it was the fact I was sick this morning. <laughs> Shopping haul time. It's at that time. I've just got through the door. Yeah, I know, but we need to get it done. <laughs> OK. Baguette. Loaf. Baguette. Loaf of bread. I don't really know what that Toilet is. Toilet roll. Kitchen spray. Snotty tissues. Without the snot. Right. And then... And then, let's get this excited. Twix! <laughs> Twix. Kit Kat. Kit Kats with bits in it. Right, this is where it gets a little exciting. So I've picked this for tea tonight. There's four of them, so... Ham and cheese toasties. Um, ready made, sort we, of. We don't have a fridge, so it don't matter, because they were cheap enough. I think you'll like that. Yeah, and then you can try them as well, can't you? Because there's plenty. Now, Dan, he got something... Well, some unusual stuff. You've got tin meat that a you've been after. Pork with bread, so I can always revert back to pork sandwiches. Well, it says pork, but it looks like ham, doesn't it? Ham sandwiches with um, brown sauce, sorted. It's and then just, for my tea... It's just good that you can have that in a cup, isn't it? I know I said I wasn't going to eat anything Spanish ever again. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> but I don't think I can go wrong with this. It's a potato, well, a Spanish omelette. This is the what kind of the one that you wanted to make. This is your tortilla, tortilla, is she thinking my bob look? Um, so they have, there's two different kinds. You have a potato one and a potato and onion. I've just gone for a potato one. Oh, I think the potato and onion would have been nice. Or... No, I, don't, I don't know how I'm I meant think... to heat that up. Well, I don't know. What else did I have to go with it? Something pretty special? Um, jelly Not sweets. Jelly sweets. Jelly sweets. This pack of baby wipes, <laughs> bravas. So, bravas. again, all this is is like little bits of potato with two different sauces. We know that's like a garlic mayonnaise, and this one I want to try because I think I'm gonna love them. Everyone How keeps going on about this? them. Oh, that's strange. I think I'm just gonna dump it in the oven, and they'll come out crispy, won't they? Yeah, whatever. It's just saying four minutes, Mike, one minute. I can't go wrong yeah. with that, can I? Surely, even though, you know, it's just potato and egg and potato and okay, sauce. Of course, yeah. We actually got this on a side dish on one of our meals from a restaurant recently. And it was nice. Not but a it takeaway. Is just the potatoes. Oh, it was the, oh, was the takeaway. They didn't, give us, they didn't give us a sauce, no. which is the main part of it. No. Right, what else oh. did you get? You got a bikini okay. or something? Yeah, I got some kind of bikini sort of tank top thing it's like a top and it's little shorts 
for they this. They didn't have much of a selection. Just in case there is uh, the pool open and it's going to be red hot yeah. when we get to the campsite. I'd rather have it than not have it. It costs 20 euros. Right. I, it gives me a me day, doesn't it, on campsite? And now it's my me day. Yep. England versus Iran. Not yet. Iran, is it? Yeah. Well, it's not yet. Well, it's build up. We've only just got home. Yeah, but it starts in about four or five hours. Right now. Let's build up, Mazit. Build up's the best bit. Decided to take a walk to the beach. As first proper walk on the beach area. Yay! <laughs> but on the way, remember we were talking about these yesterday. Now we have just noticed a local um, palm tree scrap man. That's what I'm calling him. Uh, a van just coming around collecting all the leaves what have fallen on the floor. The palm these basically. But look at this. We were showing you them up in the trees yesterday. This one's come down. Look at the colour of that. The orange on that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, Mazzy, can we keep it? It reminds me of kidney beans, doesn't it? That is beautiful. Absolutely. Look how there I is thousands. What the beans do? Can you grow them? Can you eat them or what? Can you do anything with these guys? I did open one up yesterday and it didn't smell of anything. There were no seeds inside it. But wow, look at that. It's incredible. Right, let's go have a look on the beach. So the palm tree scrap man, <laughs> we've worked out, he's actually climbing, you won't be able to see him, but he's climbing up the trees and cutting the branches, the dead branches off. So he obviously cut them off. Um, I don't understand why he's climbing up though. Surely he could use long armed telescopic loppers. Loppers, yeah. Up to him. Let me just see what this <clears> is. Oh, it's one of them, Mazzy. What? When it opens up, it's a billion things. Go on, open it. No, no it's alright. Because I don't like lots of things. It's just like, well, you hold that then. Are you really going to open it? Yeah, it's just like, you know. Mm. Well, okay, right. I'll tell you what, it feels just like cocoa. Co Coconut? No, cocoa. What? You know them liners you get for hanging baskets? Cocoa liners. Oh no, it's just... Ugh, what is it? It's just... It's like some... I don't know. Old man's beard. <laughs> so we've come down on the beach anyway. We've got some play area. I'm guessing they play a little bit of... What do they play here? Volleyball and stuff like that, don't they? They have like a tennis game, don't they? Yeah. But volleyballish. It's that's, weird. Oh, that's not here though. We've got some other dribs and drabs going on over here. What I've noticed on Google is there's two bars here. In yeah. Summer. Looks wicked. Like proper beach bars mm. where you can eat as well and they look pretty good. Food looks nice. In fact, nice. one of them, right where we stood, is a, I think it's like a nightclub. Yeah. Well, a beach nightclub, a beach, beach kind of. A beach nightclub. Yeah. Nightclub. But it's not here at this time of year. It's not here, which would be cool because literally we're only parked there. You can see the vans. But uh, yeah, the weather ain't too great today. It's well, there's not no the, one here. It's not the same as yesterday. No. What's going on over there? Look, look, it looks like a load of people are tramping it. Do you see in the corner there, babe? Tramping it? Well, you know, beach, like you homeless, mean homeless or something. People. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Possibly, I don't know. Yeah, they've got a good setup over there, look. <sighs> what we're looking for today is turtles. turtles. <laughs> Apparently there's turtles around here. Don't, don't you dare stop that. Mazzy, you were eating these yesterday. It's a snail. No, stop it. Oh, go on. Stop it. Just one more stop. before we go. I'm going to go home and you carry on. No, no. Oh, you manky. Put that Carlos. down. It's Carlos. You were sick in the sink this morning over him. Oh, 
I trust you to spot that. I spot that. I made it for you, man. No, you did not. I Don't you take some six-year-old's glory. It just took me about half an hour to find all these shells, and then I've put them in a love heart because I love you. Oh, well, you didn't. What's this hole there, look? I wonder how far oh. that day goes now. <laughs> That's a Spanish sea snake. For Broly, I'm guessing. Yeah, this guy over in the corner, the homeless guy, he's actually now cooking up something. You can smell all the coals and stuff, can't you, Gary? He's got life a luxury. I'm, I'm amazed the police haven't moved him on. It's the wood mm, in England. Yeah, maybe the rules. Good for him. Maybe the rules are different here, yep. Absolutely love it, it's really nice. I do prefer this end of the town, don't you? Uh, well. This bit of it, I don't like that bit of it. So Why that's not where that? snail paella stuff is. Oh, if you can see in the distance, right in the distance, this, this little stretch there would be now the city kind the main town of this town. No. No? It wouldn't. wouldn't it? No. Really? The main town of this town is that way. That's just more that's where we drove through and it's full of all the massive tall apartments. Holiday. Oh, the hotels and stuff. Concrete yeah. city, I called it. Wow. Yeah, really oh, beautiful. This? What you found? Oh! <laughs> what is it? I just made this for you, Mazzy. I found all <coughs> this stuff on beach and it took me half an hour and then I made this for you because I love you. Oh, thanks, babe. What we got? I don't know what we got. Oh, it's well good. Oh, well done, babe. Very much. It's not hers. Just come across this random rucksack, shoes, and a, some kind of clothing. Oh, kids as well. I'm telling you now, it probably belongs to them over there, and we're getting a bit close to it, and they won't appreciate it. Who? What? That? It's only one guy over there. Right, and that's his gear. <laughs> I'm thinking, right, I'm thinking the worst, <laughs> as I usually do, right? If you're going to see shoes, trainers in a rucksack on a beach and there's no one around, he's obviously gone missing. They've gone missing? Let's go up there. Do you not think? There's no one here that that could belong to. There's no one on the beach. <sighs> there's your man, look up the tree, trimming him. How do you like that for a job, babe? Um, been there, done it. Won't do it again. You're Not with the... palm trees. I was going to say, what are you on about? Nettles. Nettles. Did it with nettles. <laughs> Very similar job, but with nettles. You're scared of heights anyway. You even get up there. I am a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so we've just come across like this. Is it a pangola? What is this? A good uh, you're thinking of. And there's another one just down there on the beach. Wondering what that might have been. Was it the bar during the height of summer? We think it's the disabled area because I did notice when Wandering Wheelies went to Spain. Yeah. There was like a planked area going right out for wheelchairs. And Dee went out on a wheelchair right down. And down there it's like a square bit and it says priority for disabled people. I think that's really good, yeah. And, uh, I'm guessing that's what it's all about aren't we at least you know because it is hard to get a wheelchair let alone a pram down there isn't it disabled showers which i'm guessing is this bit oh, that's your set shower yeah yeah very good very good yeah so we're parked right beside the service area Yay. well there's three of them but we're <laughs> one of them and we noticed earlier a woman from holland parked next to us yeah. Couldn't find her on YouTube, but she's got a website. I can't remember her name now. Fan Life with Jess. But we, she we do. Jess. But she had right. a high mar, similar to ours, a bit smaller. But she'd had it re-sprayed and everything. It looked well smart. It was all done in the army green. Yeah, matte. Matte it was really army green. Nice. It, it really did look nice. And she had, like, cactuses in the windows and stuff. It was really good, wasn't it? I travelling on her own. I, yeah, travelling on her own. She was doing everything on her own, bless her. But you can't technically call it fan life if you're in a motorhome, can you? 
You can't. No, no, I agree. Yeah. But yes, this is the services. This is us. No, this is a different person next to us now, Mazzy. These are German. Yeah, yeah. The French people who were next to us have gone. They were lovely. Yeah, he kept talking to us in French, though. And we didn't have a clue uh, what we were, were about. We were trying. Between the two of us, we were all trying, weren't we? Anyway, let's get in. The end. It's time for football. Well, that's it then. I've lost him. Football songs. You have to listen to the football songs in the build-up to the football. Come on, England! England! Sounding on. Fuck! I can even rewind that. Uh, uh. We better score more than one more than a run. Bronze 22. Hear them roar. In their red, white, and blue. This time, more than any other time, this time, we're gonna find a way. Find a way to get away this time. Getting it all together. <laughs> what are you recording me for? Right, can anyone tell, here's one for you, put it in the comments. What year is that World Cup song from? The England World Cup anthem of that year. Come on you oldies, get commenting. <laughs> You've got to be old. <laughs> yeah? Let's put it this way, I was very much a child. I wasn't a teenager. I was well under a teenager and I still know it word for word because it was the best World Cup song of all time. Trevor Francis, Trevor Brookie, Have you Kevin just told Keegan. Him? No, oh. just some of the players. We'll do it right. We'll get it right. This time, we'll get it right. It's the day after. Good morning. We're moving on. <laughs> We're going on holiday. <laughs> Three days on a campsite. Yes. I think it's called uh, Valencia campsite or something like that. Mm. I think that's what it's called. Um, just but just while we're here, just down there where the palm trees are, if you look there first thing in the morning, you get the most beautiful sunrise. I actually got some sort of a picture of it, but then what? it got. I did get a picture of it, but then it did get better when I got in the van, so... Bright red! <laughs> and someone actually left a comment saying they were here whenever, and they had yeah. a beautiful sunrise, and it is. It's just one of these places where both days, for us, it's been amazing to look yeah. at. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Right, yeah, we're moving on. Yeah. Um I think I found an Aldi. Some proper English food, hopefully. Aldi. We've come to Spain to go to Aldi. Yes. <laughs> no, no, Oh, no. yes, yes, yes. No, we're going to the McDonald's next to Aldi. <laughs> After Aldi, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I found a McDonald's. Open yes. to half ten. There's a lot of Burger Kings as well, but they don't open to, like, some of them half eleven, some of them half twelve, which I find That's a bit strange. odd. Strange, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's like a complex where there's a few supermarkets. There's a McDonald's, there's a Burger King... But that's short when we're there. Um, and there might be some other shops, so we're going to try and pass some time there. That'll be cool. Because yeah. it's only nine in the morning and we can't get on campsite until one. And it's only an hour away, so we're going to play oh around. Gosh. We're, we're going to play around there for a while. We've got three hours? Yeah, well. <laughs> I'd rather do that than sit here. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Let's go enjoy the day. Yay! Oh, I got your football stickers. Just been shopping, right? And she just gave me uh, four packets of football stickers for World Cup. We've got Perisic for Croatia. In the other one, it were all Spanish. Half at Spanish team and Morata. Oh, there'll be a kid who'd have killed for this. He'd have wanted this pack. Um, Torres, another Spanish one. I don't know what these are. What are they? Oh, maybe little facts, are they? One punt, or I don't know. Don't know. The best ones are always the, the flags for the country. Ferran Torres, I've got both Torreses. Oh, I've got Michael, uh, Michael Kane. Uh, Kane from England, what's his first name? Harry Kane, Harry Kane. I've got our centre forward, Mazzy. Buzzing. <laughs> and that again, I don't know what they are. Might so, be tokens to be put towards. Yeah, they're only giving me three. Another pack or something. Yeah, when I were a kid, if you got like the England one, which would be the flag, it would be like silver and right thick, and then you'd get some bubble gum in it as well. <laughs> Who forgot now? <laughs> Kimmich of Germany, uh, Werner of Germany. All right, well, we've got Harry Kane and we've got Maratta. That ain't a bad start, is it? I need a book now. I need to get a sticker book for World Cup. No, we need to get on campsite. Come on. We've been shopping. It's been a long day. Yeah. We'll show you what we got when we get there, but we'll show you one thing because it's right next to me. Yeah. We have got ourselves a paella dish. Yay! Or as I like to call it, uh, a full English breakfast dish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's not too big. It was only 20 quid, so it might be good for nothing. 20 euros, but the, the but beauty it about be it, right. <sighs> we, we wanted a paella type one, simply because it's not got a long handle. Yeah. So we can fit it in as cupboard easily. Enough. Yeah, well it couldn't be too big, otherwise you're going to need two burners, you see, so that, that yeah. should be fine. Should yeah. get ten sausages in there and a couple of It does for the induction hop as well, and it's actually quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's actually quite one. heavy, yeah. Quite happy with that. Yep, lovely job. Right, we're going to make a move. Yeah, let's go to the campsite. Where we've just stopped, loads of shops Yeah, here. loads. So there is a McDonald's behind us, which we didn't go to. Yeah, we changed our minds, <laughs> yeah. We went shopping in... Al Aldi, was it? Aldi, Lidl. yeah. No, it was Aldi. I thought it was Lidl. No, it's Aldi. I can see the sign from here, right down the bottom. Okay, well, we went yeah. there, and then we went in Carrefour, yeah. their supermarket, which was massive. And then we just went over the road there, and there's loads of shops, just been looking at yeah, like ladies' a big clothes. shopping complex. Thing, whatever you want to call a shopping mall. <laughs> so yeah, it's past. Didn't buy time, anything though, did we? So you no. had to go to the cash point machine, and that was it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, we ready then? We are. Come on then. Welcome to Camping Valencia. We arrived, nice and safe. It's brilliant. It's all right. I like it. It's very good. Very good. Yeah. Now the first thing we've noticed with the ACSI card. You know the discount card which we ordered, I have no which idea we have had no it. use for whatsoever so far. She just says, "Have you got an SC says card?" And I said, uh, "Well, I've got a confirmation of it, um, but they didn't come in time." She says, "Oh well, if you can find that, it'll be cheaper, you see." So mm. I came back and I found it. Oh yes, I found it. Not the actual card on an email. On an email, we haven't got the card. So what was going to be about thirty. 102 quid for three nights. 102 euros for three nights. Which we're fine with. <laughs> it's actually 48 euros for three nights. Which, <laughs> what did I just work that out? About 13 pounds, 13, 15, 13 13 pounds 80. No, 13 pounds 80. 16 euros. At 48 euros. <sighs> 16 euros right. per night, 13 yeah. pounds 80 per night with there electric. You go. So this... On a super large pitch yeah. with water. <laughs> Super large pitch, yeah. Buzzing. Do you want to see a map of the place? Look at this. That's the biggest map I think we've ever been given. Yes. So the pools are shut. My swimming costume! <laughs> and to all that trouble getting your swimming costume when it's shut. Well, hopefully we can at least see them. Yeah, I want to get up there in a minute. <laughs> um, we are parked up here. This is where the large... The thing is, you see, it's usually 70 metres squared pitches or 100 metres squared. 
we won't fit in the 70 meter squared so we have to go for the 100 meter squared um, which I'm guessing you pay a little bit more for not sure I was gonna say I'm sure these would be cheaper than ones. probably but... so we're up here where are we we're here and then we've got us toilets there emptying us toilets there we've got to walk down here we've got a tennis caught there if you fancy a game Mazzy are you up for a game of tennis later on not today no no um swimming football pitch there ping pong and then you've got a mini market which leads on to the restaurant and bar so we're going to go check it out see what's yeah. see what it's all about what's all this up here you've got a bowling club going on here uh, apparently we're only well from our pitch we're six minutes walk by the time we get to the reception, it's only three minutes walk to the beach, so... To the sea. To it, the sea. But apparently it's not much of a sea. Oh, isn't it? I don't think it's all to get excited about, no. Oh. It just looks like that. Well, we're just here to have some fun, aren't we, for three days and... Just chill out, we're on holiday, why not? We're on holiday. We've been here almost a month now. Can't believe it's gone that quick, can you? Uh, no. Oh, you sounded well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you sounded disappointed. Or... I feel like I'm Spanish, Mazzy. I feel like I'm Spanish. Do you? Uh, Must be all that Spanish food you're eating. Oh, <laughs> Tell you what, I, I employed. I employed. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed blocking about twenty people last night. Why? People saying we're disrespectful to the Spanish and Spanish cuisine just because we said the food was disgusting. We're not disrespectful. Look, it can come across like that. Did they? Did you really? Did you? Yes. I had a feeling. And I I'll had a you, feeling. I'll tell you why. Why? No, most people. Most people. Oh, that was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I'd have done exactly the same as you. Oh, it was so funny. I'm glad. Thank you so much. Great video. But then you get the other people. You're disrespecting Spain, you're disrespecting... Not disrespecting, no. Paella and no. their dishes and Oh, stuff. well, I'm sorry we don't like paella. It would be like the Spanish coming over to us, getting a Cornish <coughs> pasty and chucking it in the bin. We <laughs> are incredibly <laughs> honest people. Yeah. We give our honest <sighs> views. And people enjoy that, you know, because we're If honest. you're a viewer who doesn't like our <laughs> views, you know where to go. You don't have to be subscribed, um, but you're blocked anyway. No, they're the argumentative ones. Yeah, I'm just not having yeah, it. They're you're not the having argumentative it. ones. They're not going to be arguing anymore because they're They're just trying to get rise at you, babe. Don't rise. Let's go for a nice walk. The weather's nice, but I've had to put my coat on because I can take it off when I get I off I think there. you are ridiculous I'm, going uh, out in that. It's still a little windy. It's a bit gusty. You're ridiculous going out in that. You look ridiculous. You look like you're going up Mount Everest. I might be at this rate. Come on. Let's go. Do you want to show the pitch? You ain't even shown the pitch yet. You show them pitch. I've got to get my keys and stuff together. Oh, well, get your keys and stuff. So this is our little little area. It's quite a big pitch, isn't it? I'm not sure how much room we've got on the other side of the van. I'm guessing still quite a lot. It's it's quite oh Dan saying none. It's quite weirdly laid out really. But no, very nice and we've worked out that the sun comes all day, every day on this side of the van so we've parked it facing the right way. This is our shower blocks over there and that's where we're going to be starting. Right, we've just come straight to the front office the bit because Dan had to put a bag of rubbish away but there's your laundrette facilities. You've got reception there and over there looks like the swimming pool. Oh, I see you. I'm looking for it down there for some reason. What does that mean, look, babe? Check in parking for all your motorhomes, where the motorhome park is behind us. Yeah, is well, there more motorhome bits, is there? I don't know. I honestly don't know what's up that end. Oh, I don't know. There's your two oh, there's pools. Got it. <laughs> oh, there's tennis court. No scooters allowed up here. It's water in it. Yeah, it's not very high though, is it? It's obviously stopped being maintained now for the season. Little kiddie park play area, which is always good. If you're a child, or if you're Mazzy and you want to have a go on one of them. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's a nice size pool though, isn't it? Mm. You've got little slides going down into it as well. Yeah, that ain't. Looks very green. 
Mini market, that looks shut. Oh, is it shut? <laughs> Oh, and that's your bar restaurant then? Yeah. And that's what, a mini club? What's that? Like nighttime Kids entertainment so thing, is it? Yeah. yeah, it's actually quite a good, good little swimming pool area though, look. Imagine chilling out here around the pool, having a little dip and all that and getting a bar. I mean, get to the bar. It. What? You know, even if you're not allowed in the pool, why don't they just let us sit down on sun loungers? I yeah. could do that. They did at the last one actually, didn't they? I, yeah. I could sit under a palm tree right now with a beer. Yeah, <laughs> getting a selfie done, pretending Please. you have the life, dream life holiday of your lifetime, whatever the saying is. Right, so that seems about it. What's this? Look, it's that dancing table. Lap dancing. <laughs> lap da table da dancing. <laughs> what do you mean lap dancing? <laughs> Yay! So we've come for a drink in the beautiful, beautiful Spain. We're happy. We're happy. <laughs> Absolutely happy, yeah. It's a bit windy. Yes. And I haven't told Mazzy this yet, but I've just what? looked at the forecast it's going to be a little bit windier tomorrow. You told me it was going to be scolding bikini weather. Don't blame not. me. Don't blame me. That is one thing we're noticing here. You can read the weather and it changes just like that, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if it's because we're looking at the Met Office. No, but mine's doing the same on my phone and I'm not with Met or yeah. Office. I think it might just be because we're on the coast and it can change. No, it was, it was yeah. doing it inland as well. Right. <laughs> We've come to the bar restaurant area and it's nice. Right. It's lovely, The girl yeah. on reception speaks English. The yeah. girl in the bar speaks English and the menu is fantastic. It comes up as English. Well, Spanish and English, yeah. Check it out. We're happy. And it comes with pictures. That's with what pictures. We, we, pictures. we both liked, enjoyed right. the pictures, didn't we? Forget page one because it's all seafood. Yeah, but good prices and they look amazing. It's not for us. No. Let me just show everybody, though. Starters. This is what I got delivered. Can you remember when I got two meals yes. for the price? I only asked for one meal, but I got two. But yours wasn't ham. Yours was actually bacon. Wasn't I, it? I, I think it was similar to that, but mine had chips with it. But then we come on to the salads. Yes. Some fantastic salads for Mazze. Goat's cheese. This is one for me and this is one for and me. And chicken salad. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And Excellent. Then just what I've been after, Mazze. Spaghetti bolognese. Taste the home, hey honey. Taste the home. Now apparently there is a review on this place saying the... Um, oh, the meals are lovely. A review saying that the spaghetti bolognese tastes like it's out of a jar. Well, I'll tell you what, I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love a spag ball out of a jar. But that probably was the only negative review because apparently all the um, meals that, have actually got. Good that's reviews. what I want spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Now, we are not fish people, but I think we both no, agreed they, yeah. that's good value. 13 it's euros. Good value and they look lovely, look don't they? Look at the they? size of the fish. Yeah. But. You know, it's in Spanish and then in English. We're loving this with yeah. pictures. I like the pictures. And uh, what else have we got? Grilled chicken with vegetables and french fries. Pork loin. Pork chop. Pork. Now this is one meal I'm tempted by. Pork tenderloin. Yes, it, I might be tempted by that. When you go to the supermarkets, they do sell a lot of this. Pork tenderloin, little... You can't get bacon, proper bacon, for love no money. But they do have these like little pork rounds, and I'm guessing that's what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it's just a fillet of pork, which is absolutely lovely. But yeah, bacon. Let's get all back onto that bacon. Can't get, it. Can't get bacon anywhere. The bacon they have, it's so thin. But we then don't know if it's that cold meat that you're eating with a cheese ball, you know or is it real raw? bacon? what you eat raw but they yeah. do have some in packets don't they which says bacon but it still it? looks very thin and rubbish so the bacon, selection is struggling. far few in between we found sausages we're happy with the sausages yeah. and we've got yeah. some more of them today yeah absolutely moving on to paellas now <laughs> i think she said you have to order these an hour before yeah. or in advance or something but now in advance and minimum of two people which was the same with ours as well actually right well yeah. we won't be having that anyway, but we paid we? more than that 
Oh, we paid a lot more than that. Was <laughs> it? I know. We give him. I we paid give... a lot more than that. So I only charge you for a small portion. Because Dan I'm... was the one who wanted to chuck seventy euros. I was yes. the one who threw the money down, so I didn't <laughs> expect you to pay that. Dan is one of these. Are you do you get a little con? Un... What is the word? You, you get uncomfortable, don't you? I'm embarrassed if I don't eat yeah. my meal, or at least most of my meal. Yeah, but I don't know why. If you don't, I'm not saying because like we've hated it, but let's say I've been to, we've been to restaurants and I, you know, I've just, I'm stuffed. You get even embarrassed then though, don't you? But I've said to people before, it's not, yeah. like people have been saying, we are uh, putting the food down. So we're not. Oh. We're just giving our opinion of what we think of it, yeah. but we know that is really good food for someone who oh, for appreciates someone who loves that. It. Yeah, we pick but we the wrong dishes for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when we say, we're... "Oh, that is disgusting," what we're saying is, "That's disgusting to us." To us. But yeah. we know it's a really good paella for somebody yeah. else. Yeah. It's like the fish we just show you. Yeah. All right, that's not our cup of tea, but mm. that looks like a lovely dish. So anyway, more paella. Paella. Carry on paella? there. Is it Well, it's a rice dish. It's not paella as such. Oh, we rice didn't even dishes. show my shopping haul today, which reminds me. No, we haven't shown the no. shopping yet. We've right, got so sandwiches. On, sandwiches. These all look good. I like the sound of bacon with cheese and this were weird. An omelette sandwich with ham. With ham. I think that'd be really nice. An omelette sandwich. I've never heard of that, but when you think about it, it's just like fried egg sandwich with ham. Yeah, just less messy. Just egg. You're not going to get egg on your face, are you? <laughs> cheap. You know, six euro for a sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm bad. Five quid. Yep. And then hamburgers. Yep. You know, this is perfect for us. We've got the pictures, we've got the price, we've, no, we've got it in English. Yeah. We're happy, we're happy. This is the kids' menu. Which I was half tempted to get a kids' menu. Some of that actually looks ham nice. Ham toasty and just... Because I'd rather these French fries than, than the little chunky... I'm sure you can herb. ask for them. Yeah. I'm sure you can ask for yeah. them. Yeah. And that's, that's it, it really. Happy. We're happy with that. Yeah. So we'll be having a few meals in here. So let's give today's bar snacks a little go. What flavour are these today, darling? I don't, um, I don't like them. Oh, I think they're the chilli ones. They're the chilli. Nah, I don't know, I don't like them. What she did do is just bring us some like smoky bacon crisps and they were fantastic. Better than walkers. <laughs> yes. Really light and fluffy. Yes. One flew off a table and a bird came and took it off Straight us. away. <laughs> I was going to pick it up off the floor and eat it. But yeah, lovely. And now they've brought us these and yeah, I'm not keen on that. I think they're the chilli ones. We saw these in the supermarket today, the chilli ones, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I said, that's the only flavour we haven't tried yet. Well, there you go. And he's off, he's got a pretty cat. Oh, is she going to come and see ya? I'm sitting down, I'm not going to get up. Oh, tell him what we did see today, babe. Stray dog. Oh yeah, stray dog. Oh yeah. You got the cat? Oh this poor dog, we'll talk about it in a minute when Dan stops messing around. Yeah, tell him about the dog. We've just been to Aldi, hadn't we? Yeah, and it's like a big industrial it's massive. Um, park. You know how like you get in England where there's yeah. thousands of supermarkets and big stores in the middle of nowhere on the edge of town? Um, and this dog was just wandering around coming up to you and you were scared, weren't you? I was a little scared because... <laughs> it was scruffy. It was very skinny. thin. Very thin. Bless him, a yeah. a looking dog. He just wanted to come up and have a little stroke and we ran But in. he had no interest in us. I think he was scavenging he for was food. Scavenging. But... um. It was so thin, wasn't he? Yeah, that's the first stray dog we've seen. Yeah, yeah. Just one thing I want to pick up on the back bite, though. We are here all alone. Now, I'm not being funny. There's about 100 fans over there, isn't there? Yeah. And not one of them are coming up, having a bit of lunch, supporting the local business. You know, what's the point in them keeping opening at this period if no one's going to support the local business if this was england yeah they'd this give up. restaurant and bar would be shut yeah it would only yeah. open saturday sunday at night and i mean we are literally there's no one inside there's no one outside is there 
I, I don't know. And we, we are talking, there is about 100 fans up there, yeah. isn't there? And the thing is, there isn't that much around here. No. So this is where you'd want to go to if you're going to go out for a bit of lunch or go somewhere for a bit of a break, isn't it? Oh, oh sure here she can. comes. Hello. Hello, sweet. Oh, you're camera shy. Oh, you're camera shy. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, we do love them, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. We nearly bought some cat food and dog food. We at the, did uh, supermarket today. today. And you had to stop me because you don't feel... I mean, obviously, it's not right to no, feed. I was... If we'd have gone down the aisle... Yeah. I'd have got some. But not wet cat food. I think I'd have just got some dry biscuit stuff just to throw down for them. Mm, I think they prefer wet when they're that well, starving. Tough, tough. When you're that I starving. I certain things. But, hey, if it's free <laughs> and I ain't got any food <laughs> and I'm hungry... <laughs> I'll enjoy my You're always biscuits. hungry. I am hungry. Wonderful afternoon. Absolutely wonderful afternoon. Sat with two English people. Yay! It was actually really, really nice, wasn't it? They were lovely. And I'll tell you what, didn't even get their names, did you? No, no. Lovely, lovely couple. Right, super yeah. thanks. Can we do a super big, thanks? Big super thanks. Jacob Clayton. I'm sorry, honey. Welcome back, Thank Jacob. You Jacob. Love Welcome you to bits. back. Yeah. T4 V Wales. T4 V Wales. Thank you, T4 Wales. Ice. Ice, Ice. baby. Ice. Ice tea. <laughs> Glenn and Sue Bobs. Thank you, Glenn and Sue. Peter <gasps> Webster. Thank you, Peter. Lynn and Tony. Thank you, Lynn and Tony. Sharon Bradley. Thank you, Sharon. Bradley. Sharon Bradley's oh, the better other half. other half. Yeah. You're not going to thank him. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I did. Um, I thought I did. GC. Thank you, GC. And Darren's mum. Darren Dixon, Darren's... my mate's mum. She, apparently, she watches us more than Darren does. So, Alice. Hello, no, Darren's Alice. Mama, Alice. Yes, Darren Dixon's mum, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Thank you for watching, <laughs> Alice. We love you to bits. Yeah. Right, yeah, we've just been yeah. out. Um, Had a wonderful afternoon, actually. Really nice. Just yeah. talking to another English couple just for an hour, and it's been... Yeah, it's been really nice. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. It was quite nice to talk to somebody other than ourselves, wasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so I'm about to get tea on. What are we having? Uh, are you well, going to show one? Well, you didn't want to, but we can. Go on, what are we having? Crinkle cut chips. McCain's. Right. right, so I need the air fryer for those. Yep. Kentucky, f Dan's wanting something English tonight. Chicken, hot and spicy strips and chips. And then tomorrow we will be eating out. And cheddar bites. And baked beans. Oh! Hold on. And baked beans. Hold on, where's the baked Honestly, beans? I feel like I've gone to heaven. I've where's gone to heaven. Baked beans, get out of my way. Get out of my way. There. God. Heinz you baked paid beans. two euros for that. I'd have paid five euros for that. <laughs> so that's going to go with your English-American... It's English, Mazzy. Spanish It's milk. English. Yeah. Thank you for watching, people. Yeah. We will be back tomorrow. Um... Just happy, just happy to be yeah, on a campsite. I feel happy. Speaking to some English people, oh. it's really been therapeutic. Yeah. I'm happy. You're happy. Mm -hmm. I love you, babe. I love you. Right, let's call this a day. Crack let's get on. Tea on. Say goodbye yeah. to everyone, and we'll Good see you all bye. tomorrow. Thank you all. I love you all. You need bye. to slap them. You need to slap them. Uh -huh. No, I'm not uh -huh. doing it. I'm not I'll doing do it. it. Bye bye.